we're not in the business of making sick people well. We're in the business of making well people amazing. Entertaining, inspiring, thought-provoking. The Amazing Living Show. Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. And now, your hosts, Don and Lucky. We're not mental health professionals. No, but we have... We are mental. <laughs> But we we're did- mental and we're professionals. <laughs> Our coaching practice really centers around human needs. Yes. Because human needs are something that we are all motivated by, regardless of our religion, regardless of our sex, regardless of our culture. Mm-hmm. There is no... It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter no. what language you speak. There are some basic needs that we all have. It doesn't matter what your religion is or lack of. Right. We all have we're some basic... We're all driven basic, by these needs. Yeah, we're all driven by them. How many people are behaving in ways that may be self-destructive, and they don't even know why they're doing it? Oh, I did. Uh, I mean, uh, right. I did it. We all have. Mm-hmm. Or you can look at it as, this is why I'm fucked up and I'll just never be better and I'm permanently damaged. And I don't believe there is a lost cause. I just don't. You'll even hear somebody say, I'm sorry I was such a bitch. You knew? (laughs) (laughs) And you did it anyway? And sometimes they establish trust, more trust, more security as a result. Sometimes. How so? Well. Share with us, Dawn. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, it's funny. Is my face is <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is my face as red as yours? Because I... I feel hot all of a sudden. <laughs> you are hot. Wow. All of a sudden. <laughs> what were you going to say? Well, one of them was for me. Um... <laughs> was the first time that you photographed me nude. Why are you looking at me like this? Because I didn't know that was coming. Right. In fact, didn't you break a husband, an ex-husband's camera? I broke a husband. (laughs) You you broke a husband and a husband's camera. I didn't break his camera, but it was, uh, it really was... uh, because it was it was done without my because he was trying knowledge. to sneak a picture yeah knowledge and permission well because he, he couldn't get permission me. so right so he decided to take it and I can tell you from experience <laughs> that, that is not a trust building exercise <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk down a street or in a parking lot without you grabbing hold of me and pulling me away from traffic and buffering me with you. You are a constant buffer for me and the outside world. And I feel very safe and protected for really um, the first time since I was a child. I feel that safe and protected. That is, that's huge to me. And I almost dared the world to do it before. And they just, I felt so, I felt so disappointed by it that it was like here just let me do this i'll just take care of my own fucking self (laughs) so we won't get into that okay we really we're not even going to address if you send us a message on that just we don't care (laughs) go beat your kids yes just beat them or don't beat them (laughs) we don't care and this is what i was getting at before is like if a husband can feed into whatever his wife's need if it's a need for significance if you can provide that and you are the one responsible for it, they're not going to go someplace else looking for that it. That is, and this is more of what I, than meat that I want to talk about right okay. here. Okay. Who decided that it was wrong for us to feel good about feeling good, about doing good? Because so many of us have smoke screens up. Care what everybody thinks while not giving a crap what anybody thinks. You can really grab life by the balls. Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. If you've enjoyed listening to this sample of Amazing Living with Don and Lucky and would like to hear more, go to AmazingLiving.net and become a member where you'll get every fun-filled and life-changing episode in their entirety. That's AmazingLiving.net.